BMW debuted its newest motorcycle on the Estoril racetrack near Lisbon. And here it is, the new S1000RR. It first came onto the scene in 2009. Now in its third generation, BMW sets itself the goal of making a model that's lighter, easier to handle, and one second faster than its predecessor. The racetrack is the best place to let us fully test the bike and push it to its limits. Bike blogger Rainer Friedman is checking out the S1000RR for us. Trying it for the first time, he said the fit was perfect, even for someone his size. Such small racing bikes can be an issue, but he fits on this one great. The first time around was really exciting. He first had to check out the course, but everything went very smoothly. It was really comfortable. With the road tires, everything was fine. The traction control keeps everything in check. You could even make mistakes without a problem. Even braking late on a curve, the ABS took care of everything. Taking a closer look, the M version comes in BMW's racing colors. The side guards are emblazoned with initials RR. With rims made of carbon, the S1000RR is even lighter. And of course, there's an M sports seat. The 6.5-inch TFT display has been updated. And four ride modes, rain, sport, dynamic, race, come standard to ensure optimal driving in all conditions. But it's the redesigned motor that's the true game changer. Our motor expert tells us the new BMW S1000RR engine is four kilograms lighter and incorporates BMW's shift cam technology for the first time. Shift cam allows for a two-in-one concept, a torque-focused engine for the road and a very powerful engine for the racetrack. Shift cam is comprised of two actuators and a shaft with two sliding segments. Depending on the revs, you drive either on horsepower or torque cam. The system switches automatically at 9,000 revolutions, needing 5 milliseconds to go from a torque to a horsepower-oriented engine. Naturally, the tires also play a key role when it comes to driving at high speeds. Our bike blogger says that a racing bike needs racing slicks because normal road tires are boring on the racetrack. That makes him particularly excited. Slicks are a completely different type of tire from road ones with different mixture ratios because road tires need to handle rain. Slicks are specially designed for asphalt and good weather, so he wants to see how the slicks handle here. Final preparations before Rainer Friedman prepares to take one more lap around the track. The bike's performance clocks in at 152 kilowatts. It's lighter than its predecessor, between 9 and 12.5 kilograms lighter, depending on the model. Standard features include ABS Pro and dynamic traction control, ensuring safer braking while leaning into corners. Rainer says a motorbike needs to be a great ride, and it was. He says the slicks were perfect for it. And weather like this and a racetrack like this, you don't need road tires. You really feel the tires groaning under the power. This thing really takes to the road. It's a lot of fun. The S1000RR clearly performs well whether in everyday use, winding country roads, or the racetrack in high performance mode. And in Germany, purchasing one will cost you less than 20,000 euros.